I know that nobody was happy with him. Um, and I also think that at some point he realized he just didn't have any money and he had nowhere to go and there wasn't anything he could do except try to get himself to where he wasn't going to be in danger anymore. The prosecuting attorney, Jim Wheat, immediately went to work, building a case against the man who killed one of the city's favorite sons. This would be about the same length, um, about almost the exact same size as the knife that, that Merle used. We never did find the weapon. There was no weapon, but the prosecutor had plenty of evidence. Wheat had testimony, Merla's truck, his DNA, and the victim's corpse. One cut wound on his face. You can see on his back that there are a couple of different knife wounds on the shoulder, one on the top of the back. It was either him or me, because this cut on my leg would have went in centimeters deeper. It would have busted the main artery, and I wouldn't be sitting here in this interview today. The physical evidence led the prosecution to shrug off Merla's claim that he had committed the murder in self-defense. If you just want to stab somebody once or twice and try to get away to your truck, that's one thing. You know, that could be a self-defense case. When you stab somebody 20 times, it's because you hate them and you want them dead.